It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the New England Patriots. And it's coming up next. On a warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the New England Patriots. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier. And these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. one started and we are underway in Foxborough and a decent return out to the 27 yard line so here come the Patriots getting ready on offense and a glance here at the man calling the plays under center their 6-4 quarterback and you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game but haven't seen any sign of them right now and speaking with him earlier this week sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll drop to throw. Big strides, look at him go. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A give for Stevenson, running right. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 34-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Short pass caught by Henry. So five yards here, five on the play. And 
it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. He'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. Sly able to put this one through. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. In the end, Drive Charles does yield points, maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. field goal and here's Sly to kick this one away this fielded right at the goal line and good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20 so out come the Texans for their opening drive and leading them out there we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback this guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Here's a second and eight. Here's Stroud. That one complete. It's Tank Dell. So the completion good for six yards, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Stroud now on third and two. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. That is caught by Dell. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Now a give. Akers running left. 
He's got it to the 43 here. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. From the 43, here's second and six. Going right back to Akers. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. A give up the middle to Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Chances are good, he's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And Stroud now to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test the ball. But it put up to the task and forced the incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Throwing now is Stroud. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he has stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Fairbairn is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. Running room at the 50, look out. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Patriots. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our 
Empire score 10 to 3 now. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them. That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On second down, it's Stroud. Catch is made, it's Schultz on the out route. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Takers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Stroud now on second down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. territory now. Here's first and ten at the 39-yard line. Stroud. That's complete. It's Collins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Stroud to throw it. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 23. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And able to work his way down to the 16. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. 
Now Stroud. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, that third there was certainly a scouting report special because Cutler was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw. Stroud working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. This will be caught at about the six. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. A six-yard pickup brings up second and goal at the three-yard line. The throwing again is Stroud. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. A big win there defensively on second and goal. A loss of seven, and it breaks up third. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Third and goal, Stroud. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Texans are an extra point away from evening this one up. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are even at 10 apiece. Ten apiece as the kicks away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Stevenson now on first and 10. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 22 on a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he'll be 
taken down at about the 22-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he is caught by Smith Schuster. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith Schuster. A 22 yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Slide for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Fly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just tallying them up, aren't they? <laughs> they're watching this game. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two as they've got it with a first and ten. And a lane slow materializing there as they'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Second and nine. Stroud looking to throw. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. It'll be a gain of five. And it's third and four now. Search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Stroud. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it, and the Pats are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he's got this down to the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Good work here by the tight end. It's a crossing route off of play action. They're going to let the slot receiver run a post to hopefully let the defense think they're taking a shot. And then they bring the tight end underneath, and it winds up a first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he is caught. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now second and nine. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Now back to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. He made his first attempt, this from 45. Sly able to put this one through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. To the made field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line. And now out comes Houston. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look at a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. 
Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Pass taken in by his big tight end. A huge play there for Houston. 46 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Stroud. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. What right, a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Stroud now to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there. But yeah, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When, does, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. So the three points there in CD that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner. When you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. the main field goal he'll send this one away and out a little across the 25 to the 27 
Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On play action, they'll throw. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally I say, here's a stop on third down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sideline. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No such risk in anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Option right, here's Stroud. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Well, if you're going to run the read option typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for in the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Throwing now is Stroud. And Stroud wisely slides down safely after picking up the first down. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On the bootleg, Stroud. Now he's flushed out right. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that.
Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now here's Stroud on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Akers. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Again, it'll be Akers and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot on the ground and come back. It just never materialized. This offense so far on third down, five out of nine thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Stroud. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a completed pass until he came in and forced the ball from his hands. Not only did he make a nice play, he brings up fourth down. Now Kaimi Fairbairn out for the field goal try for the Texans. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Following the main field goal, he'll send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. New England trying to get to place on offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw here is incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll set up a throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man, that's Henry. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his big catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Back to throw now on first down. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Stevenson. Is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And the Texans going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Stroud to throw it. He's got it to Collins complete. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and five. On the delay, it's Mixon. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Second 
Stroud now on first and ten. And that one too wide and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here and have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I haven't brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. That is showing an awful lot of confidence in a kicker to try and hit from 61 yards, and this one winds up no good. Now a handoff, Stevenson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up, and with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach.